In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a merge patch and convert it over to an ESL plugin. Um, if you use bash patches, you'll notice that they are ESL converted already whenever you create the patch. However, whenever you create a merge patch, it is an ESP flagged plugin. So, in order to create the merge or uh, the ESL plugin for the merge patch, you'll have to convert it yourself. Now, I've already got this set up um, on a test profile, so we're going to go ahead and check uncheck these patches here that I've made, and we're going to create a new one. So, make sure your load order is correct. Make sure everything's where it needs to be and run your SSE edit. Okay, so make sure all these mods are checked, all of your mods are checked, and hit OK. And we'll let that run for a little bit. I'll be right back. All right, here we are. You can see it took a minute and 56 seconds to complete. So uh, if when this window pops up, if you have any of these that are unchecked, make sure you check them all. Anything that's, uh, any mods that pop up here on this list, make sure, make sure they're checked. Hit okay. Okay, now we'll scroll down to the bottom and right click the very last ESP. That uh, doesn't matter what it is and hit mer uh, create merge patch hit yes now I create I have a note of uh, all of my patches that I make so you want to make sure that it's always uh, spelled correctly and and uh, your naming conven conventions are consistent every time you create this patch because if it's ever misspelled the game will say that you have missing mods in your load order so uh, I always just copy it to ensure that it's always the same and hit OK give it a few seconds and expand this now anytime you have uh, files that that show up leveled you want to delete those so you could have like leveled weapon or something and you want to make sure and you remove anything that says leveled Hit yes we'll remove this one and then we'll click back on this uh, ESP that we've made and we'll hit clean masters okay and then we'll click on the file header and double click record flags and check the ESL box and then just click off of it somewhere and there we go so now it's an ESL and you can see we have all of these mods that have been converted over to the merge patch. So we're done here and we can close SSE edit. Make sure this is checked. Hit OK. And now since we're in mod organizer 2 the mod is going to be in our overwrite. And every time you run SSE edit it's going to generate this cache file and it's just a backup of uh, ESPs but they've all been renamed they're not usable you'd have to rename them anyway we don't need it so we're gonna delete it and there we go hit close and then create mod and we're gonna uh, let's see so we're going to call it uh, merge patch.
patch. And then I always put the date next to them. And then also I will put the uh, the profile name because I'll have several different profiles and my merge patches could be different for each one so uh, I always put the profile name on the end of it hit OK and then we can check it and there you go there's our ESL merge patch and there's all the mods that are attached to it so now to run the bash patch before we run the bash patch we need to run loot we're not going to apply um, the, the sorted load order but we need to generate tags for bash patch so give this a second and then we're gonna hit sort just don't hit apply okay so this is also a good time to uh, check out any warnings or errors um, disregard some of these uh, I have some like this one right here don't pay attention to that um, so there we go what what we uh, wanted to generate here was uh, like this name sound stats text um, let's see what else this relev stats relev dlev see we want all that stuff okay so don't hit apply just close it quit Now we'll run the bash patch, or wire bash, rye bash. Hit OK if any mods pop up on that list. Now we'll scroll down to the bottom and right click, rebuild patch. Uh, for me, I'm going to disregard this error. Continue. Now you may have a bunch of stuff on this list checked. I would only check import names, import stats, and leveled list. And then hit build patch. Shouldn't take too long. Alright, not too bad. It took about two minutes. so. You can review this list if you'd like. It's uh, quite a bit of information. So we'll hit OK. We'll activate the Bash Patch ESP. And we can close down Rybash. OK, so don't pay attention to this side just yet. In our overwrite, we have our new Bash Patch ESP and then these two files but these are these are empty well except for this but these are junk files so we're just gonna delete these and now we have the bash patch create mod and we're gonna name it bashed patch and then same as the uh, the merge patch we're gonna put the date and then the profile name and hit OK alright and there we go and well, now we have the bash patch which is uh, Rybash already converts these over to ESL for you so you don't have to do anything extra with that and uh, 
all you have to do now is run the game and make sure it doesn't crash <laughs> but uh, I don't think it will this uh, will help uh, with performance and making your mods all work together so definitely something you need to do with every playthrough um, and then if you use Dindulod then you would run those patches after you do your merge patch and your bash patch so just keep that in mind anytime you start a new a new profile or whatever you should run these patches alright I'll see you guys later <laughs>